Hey, what's up everyone? It's Lace from Spoxy and welcome back to another Life is Strange 2 video. Today, I'm going to be covering my first theory of many and that being, is Brody as nice as he seems? Before I dive into this video and my points, I just want to state there are going to be major spoilers regarding Life is Strange 2 in this video. So you've been warned. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. We meet Brody around halfway through the first episode at a gas station. A little bit about him as a character, he is an online journalist and travels to get stories and write about them. Later on, Sean and Daniel get kidnapped by a racist old man who claims that they have stolen from the gas station, also knowing about the events involving Sean and Daniel back in Seattle and tells them he is going to call the police. Luckily, both Daniel and Sean escape and run through the woods to find Brody in his car. Brody instantly lets them in the car and they drive off. Brody explains that he knows what happened to Seattle, but instead of accusing them, he listens to his side of the story and comforts him, advising that he should tell Daniel the truth about what happened to their father and what happened back then. After that big talk, eventually Brody takes Sean and Daniel to a motel and pays for a room for them to stay at for a little while, also giving them a bag full of supplies to aid them. In addition to all of that, Brody also leaves Sean a letter wishing him good luck and that he needs to tell Daniel the truth. Brody leaves as he needs to go back to his mother who has cancer. Just from the two hours we get to interact with Brody, he seems like a really nice guy right off the bat. He's approachable, understanding and kind, or so it seems. Now, the last time we trusted a guy who seemed completely nice and innocent and normal, this happened. Christ, look at that perfect face. Now this doesn't mean that Brody may turn out exactly like Mr. Jefferson from season one, but for some reason, I'm getting a little bit of a funny feeling about him. Even though there aren't any red flags shown in the first episode that he may be a bit deceiving and dodgy behind the scenes, as he does help Daniel and Sean a lot and practically saves their life at one point. On the subject of him saving their lives, why was Brody just randomly parked in the woods when Sean and Daniel were kidnapped? This may be me just totally overthinking because he may find the woods a relaxing place to write his articles, but I felt like it was something worth pointing out, just in case for future reference. Another thing is that Brody has an exceptional amount of knowledge on Sean and Daniel. Sean explained to Brody the whole entire story and although Brody believes Sean, he could have still taken the story and manipulated it to expose the two boys. Also, Sean told Brody that he was planning to go back to Mexico and live on a plot of land owned by his father in Puerto Lobos. I mean, if Brody wanted to, he could seriously expose Sean and Daniel, especially if they were wanted for a reward. Despite my slight suspicions and insecurities, I do have good spirits about Brody, but out of all honesty, since Life is Strange Season 1, I have serious trust issues when it comes to trusting people in the Life is Strange universe, in fear that I will be screwed over somehow or another. But for now, Brody is in my good books. That's going to be it for today's video. Comment down below your thoughts on this theory because I'm really interested when it comes to your guys' own personal theories and opinions. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed. Leaving a like always helps me out. Don't forget to follow my social medias to support me and to get the latest update on upcoming content. With that being said, thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in my next one. Goodbye and take care.